So it was the end of 2020. Everybody's been through the pandemic. It's been hard on everybody. Nobody's the exception. Um, but this was an especially low period in my life. Really dark thoughts, suicide ideation, something that I've struggled with my whole life had been very prevalent during this time. And I had just gotten to a place in life where I knew I could not keep living the way that I was. The way that I was going through the motions at work, which was stressing me out. Um, I had lost some weight, but I had plateaued, and so I was not able to lose any more weight beyond that place where I'd gotten stuck. And I just found myself stuck in relationships that did not make sense to me and that kept me stressed out, overwhelmed, and anxious, and I needed something different. And so I made a choice. I made a choice to do the work on me. And that looked like setting a lot of boundaries and doing some reflection and a lot of work on myself. And getting to the other side of that, I realized how lonely the journey had felt. And I didn't want anybody else to have to experience healing alone. Because while it is an individual process, it's something that you can do with somebody else to help you along the way so that you don't feel like you're doing it all by yourself because no man is an island. And so at the end of doing all the work and wanting to be the bridge between where people are and where they want to be, Healing is Work Coaching was born because healing is work. Oh.